What is going on, guys? Welcome to another top 10 list. And these are my top 10 list, my post anticipated movies of 2024. I, I knew when I first started trading movies, these movies last year, I knew these movies were going to be good, going to be fun and entertaining. And we, we, we'll. Like these, I, I started trading all these 10 these movies, they, and they all look, honestly, I, they all look like what? Like, uh, I'm going to enjoy it. They all look like going to be, going to be great, good movies. And, and I'm not going to talk about these movies very long. I, I, I'm just getting about 10 these movies that I, I, I don't think they, they thought they're going to be good, and they're going to look like going to be good, but uh, with, uh, with that, that the way, let's get started. Okay, coming to number ten, it's a it's a it's a Fall Guy. Now this movie is going to star Ryan Gosling and, and and Emily Blunt. And this movie, when I first saw the trailer, I thought this is my trying to trailer this movie three times. Like uh, Ryan Gosling pulls the scene to start the start devil and and basically he's going to be murder and and all. This movie is like gonna, like this movie looks like it's going to be entertaining because. I love anything with Ryan Gosling. I'm 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 I'm, I'm excited for it because uh, Ryan Gosling is one of my fa top ten favorite actors of all time. And same with Lee Blight. She's one of my, he's one of my top ten favorite actors of all time. And that's all, that's all I gotta say. Right? Uh, uh, that's all I gotta say. Hey, the Fall Guys like, like, gonna be really, really gonna be really, really fun time. Hey, comment number nine is nine is Spider Man Beyond the Spider Verse. Yes. Yes, when I first saw the ending of the Spider Man uh, across the Spider, I, 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 I'm excited for the. I'm, I'm, I'm saying everybody, everybody, I'm pure everybody is excited for this movie because I love the anime Spider Man movies. I love Miles Morales, Gwen Stacy, they see. I love, I love these, these, these different. I love the animation style in the movie. I love the story of the characters, and I'm, 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 fan of, I'm a fan of uh, Into the Spider Man across the Spider Verse. Like I said, as you saw my top ten. Top ten best movies of the year, but across the spider one of my one of my favorite movies of last year, and I, I'm of course excited for this movie because, and I, when I first saw the end of the spy, across the spider, I, I'm I'm already excited. I knew it was gonna be gonna be a third, the third dominant to the to, to the anime spider trilogy, and I'm I'm excited for it. Okay, coming number eight is Sonic the Hedgehog three. Okay, let's talk about the first Sonic the Hedgehog. When I first saw the trailer, the first Sonic the Hedgehog, they came out for it back in 2020. I thought the movie was to like shit. Like I wasn't excited for the movie. But after seeing the movie in theaters, did it, that movie that movie was actually pretty pretty darn entertaining. That was actually pretty pretty not half bad. And same this, I, I was excited for the second one. I love Jim. I love Jim Carrey as the as the villain. I've got the villain's name. I played. I played. I'm a, I grew up with Sonic Hunt the Hedgehog games, but I've got the villain's name with the big mustache and all that. I love Jim Carrey, the villain. I love James Marston. I love the guy that played the voice of Sonic and and the sequel. I love I love uh, love Idris Elba as, as Knuckles and and, and Jim Carrey return return as villain. Now I'll leave the name on the screen, but but and I'm, I'm of course excited for this movie. The I love the movie looks like it's gonna be fun. I love the end credits this week, like let's say I saw the Hunter the Hedgehog three. It's, it's, look, it's gonna be interesting. Moving on. Okay, coming number, coming number seven is uh, is Bob Marley, One Love. I'm sorry, this movie looks like it's gonna be good. I, I'm expecting another. I don't expect another all eyes on me, but I hope I'm, this movie. I hope this movie got like straight out of comfort because straight out of comfort is my favorite movie of 2015. Like I said, I hope this movie be like that movie. I look, say I'm a big Bob Marley fan. I love like, about his life is interesting and all that. Just said, said, I, 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 I saw, this is my second. I saw the trailer three times, and I, I'm excited for this movie. Okay, come, okay, come number six is or, is origin. Oh God, this movie looks like it's gonna be in powerful. This movie like gonna be uplifting, uh, educational. It all says uh, Angel Johnny Ellis. And Blair Underwood, this one is going to be important. It's going to be educational. It's going to be uplifting. It's going to be a, it's going to be a, a empowerment movie. Everything. I just, I just love it. I this movie looks like it's going to be interesting. I just, I just, I'm, 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 I'm very excited. This movie. This movie come out on the nineteenth. And this movie supposed to come out two thousand three, by twenty twenty three. But it got put up to this, to twenty twenty four. And I'm, 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 I'm big. I'm, 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 I'm very excited for this movie. So, 
let's see, orange and blue is gonna be good. Okay, coming number five. Okay, the top five. No, coming number five is Lisa Frankenstein. Like this movie, this movie looks awesome. This movie, this movie is a comedic, comedic horror movie. This, this movie is gonna start Captain Newman as, as the main character, and she, and this movie is gonna be hilarious. It's gonna be, it's gonna be funny. I, I, this movie, I'm, I'm excited for this movie. This movie come out back, come out next month on, on Valentine's Day. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty excited for this movie. It's also, this movie look, look, take place in the '80s, and I, I'm, I'm, and it's like gonna be a fun time. This is, not, this is another teen, teen, teen horror movie, like. It's a key comedic horror movie now, I'm, and that's my thing. I love I love comedic horror movies like, if they don't write like Freaky and and all. Just just uh, also also Captain Captain New was in, in Freaky and I, and I'm really excited for it for it. Okay, coming number four is uh is Ghostbusters Frozen Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. Like I said, I loved I was I was a big fan of Ghostbusters Ghostbusters um. What's his name? Uh, what's his afterlife? I, I, I was a big fan of it. I love, I love Paul Rudd in this movie. I love the, the, the new actress. I love uh, love uh, Flynn Whip Harvey in this movie and 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 Celeste O'Connor, Celeste O'Connor, and and uh, you know the, back, the uh, last three OGs that was in the very first Ghostbusters movie. You know, you know uh, Bill Bill Murray, Ernie Hudson, and uh. And Dan Aykroyd, they return gonna be turning this movie, and this movie's gonna be about the this movie looks like it's gonna be awesome. I look this movie looks a treat, treaty. Come, cause Afterlife was a big, good was a shock was a shockingly good movie, and I'm, I'm excited for this movie now, and for this movie. Number three is Doom Part Two. Now this movie, now Doom Part Two, we were supposed to come out in two. 2023, but it got put up to this year, and I'm excited for it because I'm I was excited for the first Doom. I what 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 I love the the characters, the style, everything. I love I love I love this movie. I'm a big I'm I'm excited for this movie. I love the character returning and everything. This is like it's gonna be it's gonna be enjoyable, and I'm I'm pretty excited for it. Coming number number two is Bad Boys Four. Oh yeah, a fourth bad song into the bad boy movie. I wonder how this is gonna turn out. You also have uh, Will Smith and Martin Lawrence. Like I, I, I can't even look at Will Smith the same way. Uh, like after we, uh, we, we did the Chris Rock and the Oscar back in 2022. But I can't. Even, but I'm, I'm excited for it movie. Despite what, how you feel about Will Smith now these days, the after, you know after we did with Chris Rock, that was just that was just yeah, yeah that was just, just stupid. That's just stupid. But I love Martin Lawrence in this movie as. Which, and it turned the role as 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 Mike as Mike and Marcus Mike Mario and Marcus Burnett and I'm mean, I'm excited for them. I'm like cause I'm a big fan of other 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 three Bad Boys movies like the, like third one's my favorite Bad Boys for Life plan. even even the first two even though I'm not a big fan of Michael Bay but he like those are one is good better movies I I love the I love the other three three Bad Boys movies I'm, I'm of course excited for this movie. And my number one most anticipated movie of 2024 is is Argyle. Oh, uh, this movie looks like it's gonna be badass. This movie looks like gonna be fun, a real fun time. Like I said, I'm, a, I'm, a, I saw, I saw the trailer of this movie a bunch of times. This movie's gonna start, gonna start at Henry Car uh, Car Carvel, Bryce Dallas Howard, Catherine O'Hara, Samuel Jackson, Jackson John Cena, uh, Ariana DeBose, uh. I, I can go on ever and, and this movie is directed by, gonna be directed by Matthew Vaughn and I said I love this movie. This one this movie like gonna be like like Bullet Train, which was a, was a, was a, one of the underrated art action movies twenty twenty two. Like this movie like it's gonna be like, just like that movie. This one is gonna be fun. It's gonna be bad and it's also gonna be pretty nice with the cat and all and all. This is this, I'm I'm excited, I'm excited for this movie. This movie coming out next month. I'm I'm already pumped to see this movie. I'm a, I'm a big Matthew Vaughn fan, and I, and most of the, uh, most of his movies. Oh, just let's say, Ar Argyle is my fourth movie in 2024, and that's all I gotta say. And those are my top ten, top ten list movies based, uh, uh, most anticipated movies of 2024. Like I said, if you like this top ten, like like I said, comment down and let me know what are your top ten most anticipated movies, of most intense anticipated movies of 2024. Just comment down and let me know. And like I say, if you like this, 
this video gives me a review a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on social media. And as always, tell me again, peace.